Hello everyone to ICT paper 0417. We will be doing paper 3 for data analysis, which is spreadsheet or Excel, for Feb and March 2020. So let's start with the very first uh, task. And you, uh, the question starts by saying you have been supplied with the following source files. These are the files that we're supposed to get them. So let's go to our folder. And we will have this file over here. Let's extract it first of all. After we're extracting, let's go directly to the folder and we're going to get our files. Make sure that you're grouping it by type so it will be easy for you to look at each file separately. And secondly, make sure you're in the view section, making sure the name extensions are visible and showing for each file. That will make it easy for you to look at each file over here. Okay, so we're given here round six seven files and we have already seven files here you can compare one by one and make sure you have all of them so task number one it says uh, for the evidence document so create a new word process document make sure your name center number candidate number appear on every page of the document not mentioned in the header or footer so I'm just going to click right click in my uh, working area and add the Microsoft Word document um, is there any specific name given to us? Yes, over here there is a name given to us. So let's copy the name and then make sure that your uh, f uh, candidate number is followed exactly like this way. So let's go over here, back again, put the name and then write down your candidate number. Let's open it and let's add the information they ask us to do so. So we're we, we were asked to add the name, center number, and candidate number to appear uh, on the page, so either header or footer, any, any alignment, so let's add it in the header, three blank columns, and add all of your information at the top, and the candidate number. Okay, close it. After that, let's go. We're done with this, and you will need this evidence document during examination to place the screenshots when required. Okay, task number two for data analysis. You are going to prepare a spreadsheet for Just Dive for Rust. This company takes divers on trips to shipwrecks. Each trip has two dives. So just remember each trip has two dives. Let me highlight this can be important for us. So each trip will have two dives and it takes the divers to the shipwrecks areas. So to make sure divers are safe on their trips, they have to calculate how long they can stay safely, they can safely stay underwater at certain depths when breathing nitrox, which is a mixture of nitrogen and oxygen. All right, uh, question number one, open and examine the file that is called rex.csv and dive planners.csv in a spreadsheet package. So let's open these two files. Okay, let's start with the first one. So let me expand it and let's check it. We have code over here, we have the rec name, those are the places they will take it as a trip for the uh, divers. Depth, which is supposed to be in meter, and we have the type of seams ships. Okay, so how many we have here? We have three, four columns. Let's check the next file, which is called dive planner. Let's expand it and let's check here. Seems oh, okay, the name is mentioned here, just dive for rust, dive planner, and then dive one, dive two, and where we'll be giving the numbers over here, and we have to enter it. So right code over here for dive one and dive two, right name, the depth, the planned dive time, and is it safe or no? The nitrox mix on the boat for dive one and then we have the depths over here for each minute and the safe time, safety stops and critical time okay let's relate between this file and the next file what can you see probably you have the code here which is the rec name and the rec code so the rec code definitely will come from here so we have to use a VLOOKUP to check it from here and the rec name will be depending also on this again 
and for the depth since we will be also needing this file again and then we have um, what else do we have we will check later what this the type we might also need the type to be mentioned over here somewhere okay so let's go and check the next question after examining these two files save the dive planner file as a spreadsheet with the file name planner followed by your center number and candidate number so let me copy this and let's go to the first file which is dive planner so let's save it save as browse make sure you're browsing to your working area here you can see your files so change the name let me change the center number and then also make sure you're changing your candidate number another point to make sure always not to forget it don't ever save a CSV file always change the format to Excel uh, workbook that's going to save you a lot of work because usually CSV file do not save the functions or formula it will just save the value so click on save okay so it's changed here just go to your working area and make sure it is saved and carry on to the next question insert a new row between the rows containing plan dive time and save so let's go see plan time plan dive time and save so between these two we need to add a new row just one new row okay so you have here and here so click on number 10 row number 10 right click and insert so there is a new row added in between them format the top of the spreadsheet to look like this so we have over here so you will see first of all it is merged between three columns so let me merge it between a b c click on merge and center okay next point uh, make it a little bit darker um, okay over here it's mentioned Format the merge cell A1 from here to have a white text and a dark blue background. Okay. So let's do this. First of all, let's add a white text and a dark blue background. I'm going to use this one. After that, format the merge cell B3. Okay, I have here B3. Let me have a look at the B3. I have B3 over here, Dive Planner. Dive Planner is merged between B and C. So let me merge these two. Okay, so Dive Planner. So what to do with Dive Planner? Uh, yes, yeah, still in B3. So to have a black text uh, on a pale blue background. Okay, so let's go here. So it needs to be a black text and it needs to be on a pale blue background that's quite a pale color light so that's okay okay save the spreadsheet before that let's make it look like this because they told us clearly to format it and let's make this a little bit larger and as you can see here this font is a serif font means it is decorated so just go and choose any of the serif fonts i'm going to choose times new roman it looks like that one quite similar okay another one is the dive planner also change it into a bigger font but not too big and I'm going to make it also times new Roman and it seems also bold this one so I'm going to make it bold this one also bold uh, this one doesn't seems to be bold after that you have dive 1 and dive 2 in B and C row 5 this both are bold and they're in the center and you can see 4 row 4 is barely showing so I'm going to reduce the height of row 4 
After that, we can check that it is uh, quite similar to what we created. Another thing, the dive planner have a, um, a background, which I already put it, but the background with the borders over here, it's supposed to have a border. So let's go right click over here, format cell. And you will see there is a border tab, go to border tab and add the borders all around. And you can use a thick border a little bit and add them around. Okay, that's uh, quite similar to this one. And then what we need to do, let's go to the next question. Okay, let's save this. After that, let's go to question number two. Place your name, center number, and candidate number. Left align in the header. So we have to add it in the header. And on the left side of the header, so let's go over here. Click on view. In the view section, click on page layout. Page layout, as they ask you, you have the header section. And you will have as well the footer. So go to the left side of the header and add your name, center number, and candidate number. All right, after that, uh, place in the text. Okay, place the text, which is last edited on, followed by an automated date, center aligned in the footer. So step-by-step -step read the question. Uh, so we have, it's in the footer. It's supposed to be center aligned, and we need to set the date. And but before the date, we need to uh, write last edited on and followed by the date. So let's go to the footer first of all. Center alignment. This is the center one. We need to put this text followed by the date. So put the text and then space. Go to the design section. In the design tab over here, you will have the current date. So click on current date. And if you try to click uh, anywhere else, you will find the date is showing over here. Okay. So after finishing to add the header and footer, you just can close this view by going back again to view and click on normal. It will disappear, but actually it never disappears. If you click back again on page layout, it is still there. Only the view design or view um, how it looks like it changed. And even if you try to print it later, for later you will need to print it, the header and footer will be still available there. Okay, let's go back again to question number three in cell B7. Use a function to look up. Okay, so we're back again to the lookup functions. So what we need to use a lookup function to for the rec name and use the rec code. Okay, here we go. We have to depend on the rec code cell for this type of the lookup value and the file which is from rec.csv for the array. Okay. So it is in B7. Let's go to B7 and let's check where it is. So B7 over here, what we need to do, we need to use a lookup value and we need to get the name of whatever we write it from here, the code. So if I wrote a code, for example, which is A, uh, let's say I put the code here, so I'm supposed to get the name which is Albatross. If I put B, so Brian Tain and so on, it's supposed to showing up. Okay, so my source is supposed to be taken from here and I need to depend on that file. So to do so, let me finish reading the question. If we have any other parts, use the rec code. Yes, definitely. Cell so for this type for the lookup value and the file which is rec CSV for the array. So let's go and start to do it. I'm going to put them next to each other. So it will make it easier for us. Okay. So start by writing VLOOKUP. Why am I using VLOOKUP? Because it's a vertical uh, array over here. As you can see, it's starting from above here. It is Everything is vertically mentioned to me. If it was mentioned to me horizontally in this method, then at that time I have to use edge lookup, which, or, which is horizontal lookup. So right now we're using vertical lookup. The value is supposed to be Sorry, I'm supposed to write it here in B7. For the first argument which asks us the value, my value is going to be written here, which is the code. After that, comma, and they're asking me for the second argument, which is the table array. My array is going to come from here, which is from here till here. I'm having an issue that whenever I'm highlighting, 
it's supposed to give me the reference over here but it is not actually giving to me the reference this issue keep happening from time to time so if you faced it you just close that second file don't worry about it just close it and go to file again okay stop the function press on escape go to file and from the file over here you can go to open into your file and browse it and open that another file that I am talking I just close it right now if you have it over here which is this one dive planner just click on it and open it um, sorry it is not a dive planner it is that another file which is called reg.csv okay so let me just put it back again here right now it's supposed to work let me expand it back again and let's put the function again so V look up the value is supposed to be taken from here put a comma table array the table is supposed to be taken from here so right now notice what will happen I'm going to highlight and as you can see it's referencing or it is writing down my array which is from here till here actually if you want you can highlight all of them but we're not in need for the depth and type right now we just need code and its name that's all so just write these two and make sure you're not including the headers part of it okay put the comma the third value which is column index that means which value or which column index you want to show I have the first column which is number one which represent the code number two representing to me the rec name so I want the rec name to be appearing so I'm just going to put two put the comma after that I need the exact match uh, of my name so just click on false or just type false alright close your bracket and press enter and you're going to get an A means there is nothing unless if you try to put the code right now here it will start to work as you can see if you put B it will change E it will change to echo and so on I'm just going to remove the value and carry on to the next question question number four in cell B8 use a function to look at the depth of the dive use the right code again so cell for this type for the lookup value and the, fi and the file reg csv for the array so we're going to do again the same step over here we were going to create the lookup function which is the lookup function and we're going to get the depth based on that uh, reg csv file based on the reg code so let's go to B B8 so B8 is supposed to be over here this is B8 and we want to find the depth depending on the reg code open an another file as well okay so we need the depth over here previously we needed this column right now we're going to need this column okay so it's going to be exactly the same only thing is going to change the index and we're going to choose in the array all those three columns so let's write it down over here it's going to be in V8 so V lookup the value is supposed to be from here taken comma the table array again start from the code and I need the depth also depending on the code so I'm going to highlight all the three columns make sure you're not including again the header and put the comma after that the column index again this is one two three so the depth is column index three so put number three here put the comma and then put the false as an exact match and press enter let me put here any example for example e so e is supposed to be echo 3 and it's supposed to be 18 depth or 18 meter okay let's try a a is albatross which is supposed to be 16 okay let's go to the next question uh, question number five replicate the functions used in step 3 and 4 for both dives so let me have a look over here okay what they want us we need to replicate these two functions over here for dive 1 it needs to be also added for dive 2 so what am I going to do I'm just going to replicate it let me make sure no problem happens here let's put here also let me put the same place great it's working 
let me replicate this one as well okay working let me change here over here it's also working as well so what happened here when I replicated the value only here it was selecting from B6 okay now what about the another file so for the value and it was taken from here for the second one it just changed to C6 to take the value from here okay I hope it doesn't change anything okay this one was locked so it didn't change this array so the rest was okay okay so let's go to the next question we're done with this it is safer to do the deepest dive first just dive for rust want an error message displayed if the second dive is deeper than the first dive so what we need to do we need to say that the deepest dive first it is the safer so it is safer to do the deepest dive first of all and if it doesn't go accordingly we need an error message to be displayed if the second dive is deeper than the first so what does it mean if I selected here let's say I've set here a so albatross so the second dive is less deeper than the first dive then that's okay but if that is opposite let me choose which one can be okay all right this one this one seems the first dive is not deeper as the second then here I am supposed to get an error message showing me that the first dive supposed to be uh, deeper than the second dive so to do this merge okay that's just an information given to us we don't need to do yet anything just understand that part and let's go to the next question merge the cells from B11 and C11 let me check B11 it's over here to C11 over here merge them okay over here after that in the merge cell use a formula to display the text which is called unsafe second dive is deeper if the second plan dive will be deeper than the first one to display yes display this text and if it is yes then we have to display uh, that means it is okay okay so in this case what formula coming to your mind first of all that is probably if so let's try to do the formula with the if so let's go to the merge place of b11 b12 which was over here and we need to put the if formula to check them so let's type if open the comma so what is the logic text the logic text which is if the first number or the first depth is larger than the second then that's all right that uh, means we have to show what we have to show yes if not we have to show unsafe second dive is deeper so let's do that first so if this number is larger than the second number which is for dive 2 then we have to show yes which is a true value otherwise what we have to show if it is not true if it is opposite if this number is larger than this number then we have to write down the text that is given to us and save comma second dive is deeper close the bracket we have only one bracket over here and as you can see because the second dive is deeper than the first one so it is showing me unsafe let's change the value over here if it is equal then it's still going to be unsafe so here the first deep is uh, deeper the first dive is deeper than the second then that's fine that's safe again safer that's as well also safer and you will be looking at the numbers and let me go to here okay so it will be changing accordingly okay for right now let's go to the next part format this merge cell to have a red background so we need to have a red background and a white text 
only if the message and save second dive is deeper is displayed in it so we cannot just set it directly so in this case we need to use conditional formatting so let's go to conditional formatting and just make sure you're selecting over that place over C11 or B11 that merge cells and then go to new rule and over here we need what we need exactly we need this text so format only cells that contain contain what we need that specific text so containing or not containing or beginning or ending with so we need exactly this text whenever this text is exactly appear so you can just copy paste it and save or I'm going to type it here second So and save second dive is deeper what we need to do whenever this text is contained in this cell we need to format it and we need to change over here the filling and the text so we need it to be a red background and a white text so first of all the fill need to be red background and the font it needs to be a white color font click on ok as you can see it's supposed to be displayed like this get back again over here so it is working so we have right now a red uh, uh, warning message is showing let's make it op opposite and switch it right now it's it has disappeared okay right now it's back again whenever this is less than this so it will appear so we're done with this so let's check evidence number one what they're asking to screenshot that shows how uh, you apply the formatting uh, to this merge cell so that's going to be our first evidence and how did we apply it so let's go back again here and click on manage rules our rules are going to be appearing over here you can edit the rule and it will show it to you over here actually we can take a screenshot for this one together with this and show them our result so let me open the evidence file we still don't have anything in it except the header and paste it over here make sure it is clear and you can make this bold and increase the font size let me just make evidence number two ready for the next one okay let's go back again to the question click on cancel okay let me click back again and close everything and let's go to the next question so number seven save your spreadsheet after that uh, print only the cells from a1 till c11 of your spreadsheet showing the formula and make sure of this criteria so first of all let me make sure I'm selecting from a1 till c11 that's a1 till c11 is here okay highlight it first of all and we need to print it okay i need to make the formula to show so let's go to formula over here show the formula when you select it like this just go and click over the corner uh, cell or triangle over here and double click in between any two columns and to adjust and make it all fully visible right now highlight them all again from starting a1 till c 11 that's c 11 after that let's go to the print and let's check our printing uh, settings so we need it to be a landscape orientation so from here you can change to landscape we need the row and columns headings to be displayed to do so you have to go to page setup and click on sheet and over here you have the row and column headings click on it you will see the column and headings are appearing secondly uh, thirdly the contents of this these cells are fully visible and can easily be read be easily read there is nothing here not showing one point let's go back again up here what they say they want only this cells to be showing and over here you can see most of the cells all of them are showing we selected only from a1 till c11 
So what you need to do over here, uh, go and click over the first setting and choose uh, from settings, the first option, and choose from here print selection. You will notice it's only going to show you what you have selected. And this is going to be your first printout. Printout number one. It will ask you to make sure you're here, uh, candidate name, number, center number, and so on. All informations are showing, and that's it. Let's go to the next question. Use the spreadsheet to plan dives with red codes of the first A and then O. Okay? So starting with the first A, we need to plan the red code starting with A and then O. And save your spreadsheet and print only the cells from A1 till cell C11. Just exactly the same we did previously. Okay, so let's set up first of all these values. We need to put the first one to be A and second dive to be O. Let's go back again here. I'm going to stop showing the formula and back again my spreadsheet and so the first one supposed to be A and the second supposed to be O okay after that uh, I need to save it okay control S print only the cells from A1 till C11 of your spreadsheet uh, spreadsheet showing the values so I already stopped the formula and let's select from A1 till see over here oh, there are some parts not showing okay there are some of the parts here not showing let me just expand it by myself okay right now let me select from here to C11 great let's go to file and click on print just make sure first of all that print selection is selected so it is showing according to what they ask you and then uh, print the f uh, the printout fits on a single page only this is already one page but as you can see it is quite small you can actually increase the size okay that is better you can do the same thing for the first uh, print also and uh, the row and column headings not displayed so just go back again to page setup sheet and remove it the contents supposed to be uh, fully visible and can be easily read and then this is going to be your second printout make sure just your name center number and candidate number showing with the values so let's go back again here and as you can see everything is showing and you can print your paper that's going to be your second printout. Next question, use the spreadsheet to plan dives with red codes of first O and the second supposed to be A. That means it's supposed to be right now opposite. So I'm going to change them again, O and then A. Save your spreadsheet and print only again from A1 till C11 your spreadsheet showing the values okay so let me make sure everything is visible great let me highlight it again and let's go again to print make sure the print selection is selected after that print outfits on a single page that's still one single page because you cannot see here any two or three showing and then row and column headings are not displayed so we already removed it just make sure from here it is not ticked and so here it won't be visible uh, contents of these cells are fully visible everything seems to be showing okay after that print out number three and make sure your name and center numbers are showing so the first the previous print out it actually show um, no I, and save and some that long message and this one is showing yes great that's our printout number three and this is the last question in spreadsheet i hope you got all the questions and answers and best of luck in your exams